Welcome to my video explaining how to apply conditional formatting in Excel 2010. Conditional formatting is an option located on the Home tab. The screen tip basically explains it as a way of highlighting interesting cells based on certain criteria. As you can see, there are a lot of options available when it comes to conditional formatting. Today I will be covering some of the basics. First, you have to select the data you would like to apply the conditional formatting to. My first example will start with column A. With column A, I'm going to highlight the cells that contain a value of less than 10. And we will make those cells stand out from the others by using a green fill with dark green text. Column B, we've got a list of zeros and ones. Now I'm going to use an icon set to give a visual representation of those zeros and ones. We will use a check mark and an X. The same type of formatting can be used with text, not just numbers. In column C, I'm going to use a custom format starting with the text option. We're going to use text that contains the word fail and we will custom format that with bold and red. With column D I'm going to give an example of using a color scale. And we will choose our own rules for this color scale. We'll make it a three color scale and we'll just leave the default values as they are with the midpoint being 50. But these values can be changed as well as the colors. Basically the lowest value will be a shade of red and gradually work to yellow and green as the value of the cell increases. Column E contains some percentages and I'm going to use a pie graph to show the representation of these percentages. So under icon sets, all the way at the bottom, we will be able to see an uh, option for more rules. We'll choose the icon set for the pie graphs. And these values that the pie graphs represent can also be altered to your liking. I'll just change the first value of 75. Uh, so basically the full graph will be shown when the value is greater than or equal to 75. And the rest will be the default values which you can change if you'd like. And basically that's my tutorial on how to apply conditional formatting in Excel 2010.